All right. Kind of a late start today. But, um, just kind of a box of shoes, looks like. Maybe some purses or something in here. I'll grab that real quick. Some makeup and stuff in this one. Go ahead and grab that too. Let's see. Here in the next in the next couple weeks I'm gonna be having a garage sale, so That's it. All right. Got a bunch of artwork here. We're gonna take and put this inside because it's starting to sprinkle. And I knew we had a chance of rain today, but I really need to get out here to try my best to get a video off for you guys. Okay. Uh, anything in the bag is just trash. Alright, cool. Uh, I've got it. You know what? Here, hang on. I'm going to give you something. Nice dartboard, but I got no need for it. Sure. What about the, is that, is that, are those tents, are they, are they okay it's, condition? Uh, uh, I mean, it was a bitch. It, it, it hung me up in Galveston. And I was oh, like, really? Fuck this thing. So, okay. I mean, it may still be salvageable. I have. Okay. I just bought another one. I didn't even bother with it. All right, it. cool, cool. All right, man, thank you. Yeah. I think there was a little uh, blender or something here, juicer. Yeah, I'll get this little juicer. I think this is a juicer blender thing. Yeah. Cool. Okay. These are still good. Um. This one's cracked a little bit, but. I think we still salvage it. broken hmm the house sells, says so pending so I thought we might get lucky
Got a broken key here, but this could probably be fixed. So, I'll put this in here. anything okay here's some clothes Some jeans and stuff in there. So we'll see. Nah, it's all chewed up. Dang it. Yeah, look at that. You can't use it. Man, there's no telling. All right, well, I went through as many of the bags as I could. Didn't find much of anything, but I did see this shelf over here. And I'm liking it. I am liking it. Feels pretty solid. Wipe it down. Can use it at the booth. I think. It's sturdy. Yep. We're gonna take that one. 
There's some other furniture over here, but at this hutch, some cabinets. I don't think I'll be taking that. This big old thing. Let me take this. I don't know what this is, but I'm kicking it. <laughs> Intex. Cables. I don't know if I want all these cables or not. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. These are just power cables to old laptops. I think he used to work on computers or something because there's a bunch of computer stuff in there. But I know the garage sale people buy those, buy those right up. All right.
around here. Work on the second one. came up across these bags and um, just cracked, opened them up. Looks like there's shoes and boots and clothes. So we're gonna go ahead and take all these. I think all these are closed. real quick. <laughs> well, there's a dollar. I don't want to take this bag. There's like cigarette stuff in here. So. That's all I'm taking. But look, find a buck. All right, I made it back to the storage unit. You know, I wasn't too sure about this about this night. Um, this is not a normal night that I go picking. Uh, I know I've kind of been saying that here a lot lately, but with my schedule, I've been kind of going when I can. Uh, last week was great. You know, we'd find a lot of good stuff. Found the coach purses, found the money, found some jewelry. Uh, Today was an oddball night. I just didn't have, um, I started late. I started like at eight o'clock at night. Usually I start around six o'clock or so. Started at eight o'clock at night. Um, drove around for a few hours. Actually found a few good things. I'm pretty, pretty happy with what I got. I've got a bunch of bags to go through, a lot of clothes, um, look like some jackets. Uh, who knows what else might be in there. So as you can see, the trailer's full. Well. Not completely full, but there's enough here in the trailer to make something happen. It's two bird cages. Um, I'm sure we can get some pretty decent money for each one of those. We got all those cables. I'll sell those at the garage sale. I'll let people pick them. I might sell them for like a dollar each or whatever, and or if someone makes an offer on all of them. I'll sell all of them. This here. All right. For those who don't know, I do have a booth in Alvin, Texas. It's a Alvin Antique Mall, and I sell stuff there usually don't sell stuff that I find in the trash. Usually stuff that I find um, at uh, garage sales, estate sales, or private picks. So um, I'm extending my booth 
a few feet over and I need some shelving. So when I saw this guy there, I knew exactly what I was going to use it for. It's going to go straight to the booth and I'm going to put some stuff on there. Um, I'm going to try to go there in the next couple of weeks. I'll try to videotape for y'all to kind of get uh, a glimpse of the stuff that I've got going on there and see how much I've expanded. So um, y'all be looking forward for that video here in the next couple of weeks. All right, so we made it back to the storage unit. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit different today because uh, I'm really short on time and I'm going to try to do my best to get this video out for y'all um, as soon as possible. Uh, I got a lot of remodeling work going on at my house and if it's not one thing it's the other with just regular work but now we got a lot of remodeling work going on. Uh, did our bathroom, painting the inside, doing upstairs, doing the patio, all sorts of stuff. So um, I'm running out of time and I didn't get a chance to come down here and uh, go through the stuff like I wanted to uh, on camera. Uh, I did however last night um, kind of go through the stuff a little bit to kind of get an idea what was in these bags. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of clothes, a lot of... Um, let me just show you guys. What I'm gonna do is get some of these bags out, uh, just kind of pull out some of the highlights, some of the good stuff that I found, and I'm uh, gonna try to do this recap pretty short. Plus, we're gonna announce the winner for the Coach Purse uh, right after this. All right, guys, it's time to do the winner. Pick the winner for the multi-coach bag giveaway. Well, it's not multiple bags. You know what? This time, I'm going to pick three winners. Three winners for the coach bags. Why not? So the way I'll do it is just an order. The first person who I pick will email me uh, what they want. And then the second person gets what they want. And the third person, and so on and so forth. So we'll go with three. All right. So here we go. All right. So... We're going to click on the video information here. We will get the shareable link. Go to the random comment selector. I'm going to paste the link. Whoops, there we go. Let's get that video. We're going to pick keyword filter. Keyword is going to be winner. Duplicates allowed. This one had a lot of comments on it. One thousand eighty-two comments that are that have the word winner included. All right, so first winner, Nanasan. 100 Nanasan 100 you are the number one winner congratulations all right let's do it again number two april newton you are the number two winner last but not least here we go number three lorraine prater you're the third winner. All right. Well, congratulations to the three winners. We've got three winners this time. Uh, we're going to do the giveaway for the coach stuff. So congratulations to you guys. I uh, will send, um, what I'll do is I'll post the comment, uh, congratulate the winners. You'll have to email me in the order that I picked them out. First choice, second choice, third choice. And we'll go from there. I'll give the people a couple days. If I don't get back, I'll go on to the next person and so on and so forth. Okay, so congratulations, guys. Make sure to email me at texanpicker.com. Send me a message there, and I will get to you as soon as you get to me. Thanks. Okay, so what I want to do is go through some of the highlights of the you know cool stuff that I found. First of all, we had two bird cages. I only took one out so you guys can look at it. The other one is kind of falling apart. Um, they're they're good cages for like a parakeet, you know, little or or I guess yeah, they're little parakeets of small birds. Um, I wouldn't put like a larger bird in here because it, it will definitely uh, get get out to this because these these things are not very heavy. They don't really lock in place, and some of these have gotten loose if you don't snap them in correctly. But but it's a nice little um, bird cage on wheels. Got a bunch of little extra little feeder cups, things or whatever. 
little these little sticks for them to stand on. I guess they play with those things, or whatever. Um, that one guy, uh, I, you know, came out as I was going through the stuff. He's like, "Please don't open my bags." I said, "Okay, uh, you gotta respect the owner's wishes." And uh, I'm not one to be sneaky and come back, you know, because if he can find you, you know, it just it's just unnecessary trouble. Uh, he didn't want me going through his stuff, so I didn't. And uh, he came out and actually brought this out. Uh, what I picked up at his house was a bunch of these uh, this artwork. So you got this guy here, which I think matches. Yeah, these two kind of match. Um, and then you had that one back there. For jam pack guys, jam pack. I'm in desperate need of a garage, so. And of course, the Sterilite bins. You got the pink ones back there. The brown shelves that I'm gonna take to the storage unit. I'm sorry, to the uh, to the booth. Ah, uh, this guy here. Akai Professional MPK25 Performance Keyboard. I'm willing to bet that this works. Broken key. I'm sure you can just uh, unscrew these, get the key replaced. And it uh, looks like where it broke is down here at the bottom. Um, right there, this little square. Kind of hard to tell. That little square fits underneath that little black piece right there. The little square broke off there. So I just got to buy one more key. Take this apart, slide it back in. And if I do that, I'll go and clean it up. And then, I mean, you can make music. I mean, there's been lots of people that have made a career of, you know, playing something like this in their bedroom and uh, just making records. So, all right, uh, last thing I want to show you all real quick is the Back to Basics. Um, is it Black & Decker? I don't know. Or maybe it's Back to Basics. Smooth, Smoothie Plus. So this is Smoothie Maker. So, those aren't cheap. Well, let's see what that's worth. I'll put, I'll try to put comps for all this stuff. For that birdcage, here's a comp. For the unicorn dartboard cabinet set dynasty, here's your comp. The Akai Professional MPK25, here's your comp. And then for the Back to Basic Smoothie Maker, here's your comp. All right, for the rest of this stuff, we're gonna go through right now and see what else we got. All right, so in this bag, we had a bunch of hats. Got the World Series Astros hat. That's a really good hat, actually. Got this Tampa Bay. Oh no, Texas Blue Chips must be a Little League thing. There's a nice leather purse here. Um, I didn't see anything in here. I kind of looked through it already. There was a penny or two. Yeah. But, I, you know, just kind of thumbing through it some little cheapo earrings but they're broken and i really didn't see much else in here i did already look through it like i said but either way decent leather bag i mean this is like genuinely genuine leather um everything else in here is a bunch of shoes a bunch of hats you had these uh, magellan these are actually good boots got these magellan boots and um just a bunch of clothing in here really wasn't much in here some jeans um, I thought these were missing when I first pulled them out but they're Kato um, I looked at the pockets already I didn't see any money so that was pretty much all that was in this bag like I said more hats JJ Watt that's kind of a cool hat fits me a little too tight though this one here oh, I, might, I might hold on to that one Let's see if it's a little tight I got a big head but um looks pretty good if it's a little tight though to be honest with you, you got a big head so most of these one size fits most i'm the part of most that they uh don't include uh, yeah that's pretty much it like i said more hats there's a bunch of hats you know a bunch of shirts bunch of sweaters stuff like that so that does it for this bag all right bag number two uh this one here again a bunch of women's clothing Got some nice cute little boots. Forever, maybe 21, or maybe just forever. No, it just says forever. So you got this one. Uh Athlefit. Actually feel comfortable. What was in here? Oh yeah, some glass type high heels. Uh this had a price on it for $37. So I guess they're not that expensive of a shoe. But you know. If I can get 
Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto, that sounds like a good brand. You got that shoe there. You got this little flip flop here. And uh, pretty much it. There's some more. Nina or Mina. Bunch of shoes like that. This lady had a uh, good fashion sense, I guess. She has some nice shoes in here. I didn't see anything else. Looks like there's more just shoes. What is this? So she likes JJ Watt. Uh, that's, oh, look at that. I'm definitely going to keep this. I always need these around the house. I'll just peel off the last layer and use this. And that's really it, guys. All right, on to the next one. All right, here we go. So this bag here didn't have, I don't think it had too much, but it had this really nice Kenneth Cole leather jacket. I mean, this is a very nice jacket. I, I want to say this is genuine leather. I don't know, is it? Maybe it's not. Let's see. Yeah. Shell is 100% leather. And it's a, I mean it's it's a it's a very nice jacket. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but extremely nice. Some more clothes. Something you can wear to get out the shower. A hoodie. That's the local high school Friendswood. I don't live in Friendswood, but it's right down the road. Um, yeah, Hanes. That looks, that might be vintage. Anywho, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh yeah, that was like a little bag. So we had this little bag. Nothing in here. I looked that up already. It's by a company called Atri, A-T-R-I-E, Atri. I don't think it's an expensive bag, but again, a bunch of clothes. Stuff that's going to sell pretty easily at the garage sale. So, all right, on to the next one. All right, for those keeping count at home, you know where we're at. For those who are not, this is bag number four. And uh, right off the top, you have this cute bag. And uh, this one had a bunch of stuff in it. It's got this uh, double dip premium liquid nail. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to ask Iris. Let's see. Fresh chemicals. Professional use only. Dip powder nail sensors. I don't know what this is for. Healthy alternative for nails. I'm going to look this up and put comps on here because you, this stuff is expensive. It looks like it's never been used. Double dip premium nail liquid. All right. There were, oh, here's another one. Like I said, it looks like they've never been used. They all look full to the top. So there's the other one. And then there's a bunch of these. I don't, I don't know what these are. It says, effortless yourself dip fine powder. External, avoid use contact mouth. Polymethyl, methyl, methacrylate. Hmm. I'm not sure what these are for. I know there's gonna be someone out there that's watching this video and say, oh my gosh, I know what those are. If that's you, let me know. It's a bunch of them. I mean, let me show you in here. See, there's a bunch of them down here at the bottom. This like glitter. I don't know if it's something that you put on your body for like glitter or if it's something you put on your nails or what. And the only reason I guess nails is just because, you know, there's nail stuff in here. And this bag is made by a company called Missoni. It looks like a Target brand maybe. Yeah, Target. So, not an expensive bag. Maybe something that they give away, you know, but it's a good beach bag. Uh, 
And here, there's a bunch of clothes. Again, women's clothing. This this lady has a bunch of nice clothes. It's a shame that she said throw it all away instead of donating it. Um, that's a cute dress or shirt right here. I'm um, not seeing anything else in here that stands out. Like again, um, look at that. Look, see this one here? Brand new for the Republic. It's a $78 shirt or dress or whatever. A $78 dress, never been worn, still has the tags. Never been worn. Another nice little dress. I'm sure there's other stuff in here that's never been worn. And once you find one, they don't stop. Look at this one's on the hanger. I bet you this one still has tags on it, maybe. No, I'm not seeing any tags, but it's a nice dress. Okay, this one has a tag on it. Um, this is a $32 dress. A little summer dress there. Another dress here. This one has the tags on it again. Never been worn. No price on it, but again, like I said, once you find one that has price tags on it, you usually find more because I don't know, just people are like that. My sweater, you know? Anyway, that's nice closing there. And that's gonna do it for this bag. All right, here is the fifth bag bag number five and this one here it looks like it's mostly kids clothes but look at this guys levi's 550 jeans brand new never been worn i mean this stuff right here i might just try to sell online i mean they're they're brand new they don't stink arizona jeans slim brand new with tags Arizona jeans, slim, brand new with tags. And then you start getting to these Levi jeans that are regular clothes. You got football jersey. All right. All right, on to number six. Some more jeans. I think these are all women's jeans or at least young girls jeans. Abercrombie & Fitch, size six. That's a nice pair of jeans. American Eagle. Yeah, so those are all nice pair of jeans right here. I mean, you're talking about, at a garage sale, for me, I'm talking about two bucks a pair. Adidas, what size are these? Mediums. I don't know if my daughters will wear these or not. Keep them to the side just in case. Um, some more Adidas. These are small. Vicky's not small. I think she's a medium. I'm gonna check the pockets on these. I haven't gone through these pants. So, and I'm not, I'm really not gonna go through them here on with y'all because I have most luck with with money in men's clothing. Because like I said before, us men, we're bad about it. I don't know how much money ours has found in the in the, in the the washer and just said, you know what? I'm gonna take that as a tip. <laughs> these Adidas also. Yep, more Adidas. What size are these? Smalls. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna give them to, to my daughter and to to my daughter and to Iris C uh, if they like these because some are medium and some are small and I think they were medium but this small one I don't know Vicky might fit in these all right guys I'm not gonna bore you through these I'm gonna go through this stuff here on my own and we'll get to the last bag here in just a second all right guys that was one more bag that I forgot to go through and I didn't notice it until I was already putting stuff away um it was mostly men's shoes and and I think at the bottom it was just like men's clothing um, nothing spectacular in there, nothing crazy when I went through it on uh, my own. So I'm not going to pull all that out and have to rearrange this stuff. All right, that does it, guys. We are done. We went through all the stuff that we had to go through. 
found some good stuff let me know in the comments what the favorite find was of the day uh, to me, I really like that dartboard, and uh, I liked all those clothes, really, because there's a bunch of good clothes that, uh, A, will be able to sell for really cheap at a garage sale, and it'll do two things. One, it'll go to someone who's a reseller that can sell it, make some profit, and maybe that's the way that they support their family. Two, it might go to a lady or a young man who might be, not be able to afford this stuff at retail price for 80 bucks, so I'll sell it to them for $2, and they can get some nice clothes for very, very, very cheap. Uh, it helps pay for my gas, helps pay for the maintenance on my truck, and helps me uh, to get the equipment that I need to stay updated to make these videos for you. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. For those who are still with me right now, I appreciate you guys the most because you guys are staying to the very end, so I much appreciate it. Um, I like to end out with a prayer. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for just your abundance lord uh you, you're you're god of more you're a god of abundance you're a god of more than enough and we thank you for that lord uh sometimes we set our minds small or on the right thing and we just ask you lord that you would guide our paths to what is good for us for what is what we need in our lives and to not be afraid to ask for those big things we ask these things out of out of out of want from our hearts father and not out of greed um I ask you, Lord, that you just continue to just watch over my viewers, watch over the people who are, who are watching these videos, that you would put your hand on their hearts, Father, that you would ease any pain, any sorrow, any depression, any stress that they're going through right now, Father, that you would just take it away. For those who are sick, who are going through surgeries, Lord, who are going through heart issues, who are going through issues with their lungs, through any, anything that's ailing their bodies, Father, right now, that you would miraculously touch their bodies, miraculous healing, we claim it in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for all these things. You're the same God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The same God who created miracles 2,000 years ago are the same God that we serve today, and we thank you for that. Lord, I just want to continue to ask you to bless our marriages, to continue to bless us with health, with, bless us financially, and all the needs in our life, Father, that we're just not mentioning right now, Father. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. All right, amen. Guys, thanks so much for watching. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace, love you, and God bless. See ya.